was born in McKeesport, Pennsylvania to be exact, and that's near uh, Pittsburgh, um, and grew up on a farm outside of Pittsburgh. My grandfather was a steel mill worker, my dad was a steel mill worker, great-grandfather steel mill. So we have a lot of non-artists. They were always super supportive. Uh, my grandfather uh, paid for my ballet classes, and uh, my father always drove us to and from ballet classes. My parents were, were very um, willing to, to have us explore this, my sister and I explore this passion that we had. So I, I'm very grateful to them. In Onyeg and I had a really memorable performance. There are times, uh, fleeting moments during ballets that you can forget who you are and really immerse yourself in a role. And uh, there's a point in Onyegin where, uh, as Onyegin, you're watching uh, Tatiana and you're watching her pas de deux with her new husband. And this is the love that you, you have denied, uh, the love between yourself and Tatiana. And you see her at a party much later in your life and and you see her dancing with her her new husband and you know all these emotions came rushing to me and it was it was a a moment in which you could almost it was a through the looking glass type moment i was so into the role and uh luckily I had no steps to remember at that point but those those times where you feel like you really inhabit a, a character are are very interesting and very rewarding and uh, very memorable. The things that you enjoy about being a dancer change over the years. How can I say this? I, I loved performing. I loved the exhilaration that it brought me. I loved, uh, and still do, um, love that aspect of it but there's almost this uh, defiance you have towards an audience you want to prove them wrong that you can do it and you want to prove those people that think you you maybe can't perform to a certain level and then as you get older and and you get more uh, responsibility and they say well yeah we know you can do it you say oh okay I, well, you think I can do it, I don't have to prove you wrong anymore. Which then, it becomes harder because you have to prove people right. And proving people right is a little bit harder. So the things that I enjoy more now is the day-to-day -day and the process of getting into a role. I love the rehearsals, I love class. I, lo I think class is uh, meditation for me at this point. And the stage part of it, I, I still find enjoyable but um, the journey is more uh, interesting to me now. The best thing that a young person can do going into uh, a career in dance is um, love it or leave it you know you either have to be so passionate about it you it makes you wake up in the morning and and feel challenged um, or you need to find something else to do and that passion and that uh, drive is going to carry you through all the aches and pains and um, if you can pour yourself into the work that you do um, it makes things so much easier. Once you do that and you stop questioning, um, do I want to do this? Do I uh, have the talent? Do I, all these, these things uh, that you need to be a dancer. If you just stop questioning them, go for the goal and then uh, reevaluate as you go along. But um, when you're in it, just do.